What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Penal Boy, and today, we're going to be looking at the 4th Super Troop. Now, the 4th Super Troop, uh, that I'm going to be doing, is a Sneaky Goblin. It can be unlocked at tunnel 12, I think. Um, it requires a level nine, 8 or 9 Goblin, uh, at least. Uh, and the Sneaky Goblin's ability is like, well not Sneaky Goblin, sorry, I call it Sneaky Goblin, it's official name, it's a Super Goblin, obviously. Um, and it's, it's like the Sneaky Archer from the Builder Base. It, so its ability is that it's invisible for a certain period of time, just like the Sneaky Archer from the Builder Base. Uh, what what this means, so it behaves in the same way as a normal Goblin, as in it goes for loot only. And what this means is that it can take uh, take down collectors, storages, the town hall, the clan castle, without actually being supported by any defenses. So not, not necessarily just for cleanup. So now, uh, strategy with sneaky goblins. There are no actual strategies with sneaky goblins, obviously, but they have their uses. Uh, they have three uses I've seen. Uh, two, two of them obvious ones. Uh, the third one is not so obvious. Now, the, the first one is obviously funneling. So let, let, let's just build. Let's build a base here with these level nine walls. Uh, well, so we got the base here. And let's say you train in a dragon army. Why not? Um, let's, let's let's get some gold storages. Okay, so we got we got we've got a bunch of gold storages here. Yeah, you 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 just got this. You just got these uh, lovely gold storages here down the side of this imaginary base. Now you don't want your dragons to stray off to the side, obviously, because. Then the attack seems like just fail. So you, you need to set funnel. Uh, with a, yeah. So the dragon will stay in the middle because otherwise they're not going to get the town hall, and you're going to get one star, which is not what you want. So what you do is you use like sneaky goblin on the first one there, that first one. Then you come and take out the second one. Then the third one. And then the dragons very unlikely to stray off. Like you can use your heroes on the other side. Yeah. That that are just. Well, perfectly. Uh, now, se se second method, let's remove all these gold storages. Second method is to take out the town hall in a battle blow. Uh, this method can be used um, from tunnel 10 and upwards, because you, um, you, you'll be able to be donated these machines at tunnel 10. Uh, so basically what you do is you put a bunch of sneaky goblins in a battle blimp or a wall wrecker, get them to the town hall, and then they come out and take out the town hall. Now it's not as simple as that. You need uh, something to test the trap. So you like uh, the bombs. Obviously, they're gonna take taken out. So you're gonna have something like a barbarian, maybe some barbarians, maybe, uh, or maybe a, a yeti, just to test the traps. So you could um, a couple of balloons in or a lava helm if you really want to full on. Send the battle blimp right into the center of the base. Get the town hall down with the battle blimp. Uh, with the sneaky goblins inside the battle blimp. Now the one we of this, as I've already said, is traps, because um, sneaky goblins can be taken out like by traps that they're invisible, but they're not invulnerable. Now the third and final, uh, the least obvious use, is taking out the clan castle without actually alerting the clan castle troops. So let's say you uh, you're one of those people who have their clan castle, if I can find it, on the outside of the base here. Right, so you could, you could put like, let's say, five sneak goblins here, take it out, before the clan goblin's troop even come out. A genius. So that's the sneaky goblin. Thank you guys so much for watching. The non-boy out.